Health Dress is an operating foundation here in Silicon Valley, and really we have two purposes. One is a grant making strategy in which we actually give grants to nonprofits in our community. Secondly, we then operate our own programs and we provide direct services to families and to people who really need them in our community. And really the vision of the Health Trust is to make Silicon Valley the healthiest region in America. As part of our Healthy Communities Initiative, one of the most critical services we provide is our aid services. This is really because it goes to a population that's very vulnerable and most times overlooked in our community. But we provide not only the direct services that are critical to the well-being of our clients, but we also provide opportunities to form community and to live in a supportive community. The Health Trust Aid Services provides a number of services for people with HIV and AIDS in Santa Clara County. From housing placement to nursing case management, social work case management, we provide food basket assistance. A couple times a month, clients can come in and pick up nutritious bags of food to help them maintain a healthy diet. We also have a drop-in service available at the Living Center where clients can come in, socialize with other clients, take part in a number of education sessions available. We make sure that all the components are in place for people to, to make healthier choices and to uh, live a healthier life also. Health Trust Aid Services helped me put my life together. The social worker who assisted me helped me to navigate the things that I needed to do from social security, from disability, from all the little things that most people do not know how to navigate. If I had any questions, I could call her. She came and did home visits. She was just really great. And the emotional and the necessary support that I really needed. I feel extremely lucky that uh, I have the Health Trust. They've always been very, very supporting and helpful because uh, a lot of people go through phases with this virus, you know, depression, and they don't want to accept it. And these services have really helped me come to grips with it. I feel like a person again. People will often tell me how much I've helped them, even when sometimes I don't feel like I've done much but listen. So from just listening and giving people a place, maybe one of their only place in their life that they can talk about their illness and get support because there's so many taboos around HIV. From that to really making a difference around someone understanding how to help with their pain, how to deal with their symptoms, and have those really make an impact on them every day feeling better. People are really able to manage their illness, stay a lot healthier, live better lives. We have services to help people maintain a healthy life all year for the rest of their life. HIV and AIDS is considered a chronic condition now. We've had some clients now that we've served for 15 years, and we help people manage their illness during that time period. I know that we're providing a valuable service and seeing improved health outcomes and improved quality of life for our clients is why we're all here. The impact of our aid services program is probably the greatest measured by the number of clients that we have. Impacts ranging from assisting people in really continuing their lives, living healthy, working, being very productive and active members of the community to those people who are living with this disease um, which is really about to claim their life and everything in between. We also are able to form a community, a community around a disease where people in the community are ostracized, they're left out, they're excluded from their own families, much less the larger community. And so only by providing critical services and a community can we really assure that our clients have that dignity of life and be able to live with a chronic disease and really to be able to live well with that chronic disease.